Hi guys, welcome to UniJo. My name is Abhinav and today we are going to the Overlook Canyon Park. This is four hours away from Dallas. So we actually covered this in the fall trip and it wasn't like a far away from the places that we were staying. It was like 30 minutes away from the place that we were staying near the Guadalupe River. And if you're coming from like, if you're in a trip in San Antonio, you should totally visit that. It's only like an hour from there. So you can also check that out. It's a must visit place. It's very beautiful. The lake is very beautiful. And they have like this reservoir and right now we're actually behind the reservoir. So now we're going to check out the reservoir it's just behind this big hill that you see. And now we're going to show you the maps. And as you can see, it's about like four hours from Dallas all the way to the Overlook Park. And it's in, yeah, it's called Canyon Lake, the whole lake. And I don't know how they call it Canyon, but it, it was a really beautiful lake. And it's like blue water. Well, you can't really call it blue, but it looked really blue. There's eight parks in it. It's a very big lake. So as you can see, right now we're on the place that's near the reservoir. And just over there is all the water. And as you can see, the, the, they have like these pebbles so the water doesn't like flood the place out and the water is just below there they have like this huge reservoir and you can just walk through it and here's the map they have the river map and the lake map so there's also these guided tours where they like show you this um 111 year old million year old rock that they found in a flood and this like dinosaur footprints and fossils and a lot of cool stuff and you can totally go and check that out we didn't actually know this we only knew this once we came here so there's like this 90 minute tour, which is an hour and 30 minutes, and there's also the three hour tour. So um, you can book the one depending on how much time you have and what you want to see. There are a total eight parks where there's a canyon lake. So there's eight parks surrounding the canyon lake and three of them have beaches. So we're, one of, we're in the one that has the reservoir and one of the beaches. So there's like this big walkway that you can go all the way to the end and be careful around this place because after all, there isn't like a railing or anything. It's just like the speed bump kind of things that you can easily fall over and actually it, it risks your hazard of trips. So if you're like, if you want, if you come in the summer, you can like hang out on the beach and you can go swimming, but you might want to swim at your own risk because it, there is no lifeguard. And some, in one place, there's like 40 feet deep water, so the water can get deep. There's also a lot of other activities like fishing and hiking, biking and all that other cool stuff that you can check out but we were only there to just take out the view and the view also is very beautiful and as you can see we took a bunch of photos and actually one of the photos is on the Unijo page um so you can check that out if you go into the Unijo channel make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this to anyone who might need it another really cool activity to do there is uh, scuba diving and what and you might be thinking what are we going to see in a lake it's not like we're going to see colorful coral leaves and fishes but in 2002, there was a flash, I mean, of, of, and a, a big flood that made the gorge visible and all the dinosaur tracks. But it also did flood, like, parts of the people who were living near the Canyon Lake. So um, the military told them to evacuate, but after all, they couldn't take, like, their cars and all that. Um, val they took a lot of their valuables, but then they had to leave a ton of stuff. So those got on, those are underneath, they're, like, 20 feet underneath the waves. So if you go snorkeling, you can see all of that. And there's, there's like, you can see the houses, the motorcycles, graveyards. And, if, and there's rumors that if you look hard enough, you can actually find a whole ghost town. So if you actually look in there, that would be pretty cool and you, you find a ghost town. But I'm pretty sure no one has found it yet. But it would be really cool if you went and you actually found it. There's also, you can do boating, kayaking. And there's another eight parks that I said. There's a ton of parks and there's a ton of activities to do. There's like one side, it's, it's the full um, lake, and on the other side, it's the hills of Hill County and the trees. And if you come for a fall color trip, it'll be very beautiful, I can tell you that. Because all of these trees, it looks so amazing. It looks like the most beautiful painting on Earth. There's also like this big, um, there's this walkway that goes into the river, but that was closed, and it looks like it's like security reasons, maybe. I don't know. The lake was also very bluish in color and that was really beautiful to see and it came really good with the photos. So that's it for today. Make sure you share this video with anyone who you think that might need it. Um, bye, we'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.